Yo mate, what up? Welcome to another lawn tip vid. How pure <laughs> is the ryegrass looking at the moment? Man, just looks schmick as. Looking really, really good. So today I just want to do a maintenance day. So we've already done the surrounds and everything. So I want to get a double cut done on the green at our four mil. And I need to get some fertilizer out on this green as well because of the sandy profile to help retain some, um, to, sorry, to help keep pushing some growth on here. Get some of the color back. Not that the color is my main goal. It's more just the growth of this area and keeping it going while the cooler temps are in. But it is looking really good. Oof, it's tight as now too. Like all the bare spots have filled in. Like there's not a bare spot on here apart from our edges, which we did seed and put some fur on the other day. We've got our plugs out. Let's get a cut on. So I've changed my mind just a single cut today because we didn't get much grass off. There's about a little bit over half a catcher. So it's not really worth me cutting it again. It's just gonna be cutting, cutting air basically, which I don't really need to do it. It's definitely slowed down. I haven't mowed in three days and we've got half a catcher off a single cut and it's a dry cut as well. So definitely slowing down. It's got part of the fact to do with that the fertilizers ran out the notch and I put down on this area. Um, and also that it's getting colder, like it's just what's going to happen. But it's looking good. It's looking really, really good. Considering the amount of, we've actually had, how many frosts we had this season? We've had none on the green yet. So I guess it doesn't really impact the green, but on the surrounds and stuff, we've had light frosts here and there. This morning was the heaviest frost I've seen and it cleared by about, uh, it would have been about nine o'clock. It cleared on this area here, but the green still didn't get any frost apart from the little shady area over there. So. Yeah, it's good. It's good to see it's still growing, but let's push some more growth now. Last thing to do today is to get some fertilizer out. So what I'm starting to do now is my Lawn Tips winter mix. So I've got our Brilliance, our Vitalize, and our Roots in there. So the reason we're doing this mix is to help strengthen up the lawn um, over the winter period. Really, really good for any grass type. Um, but it's really going to help just strengthen up our root system and also strengthen up the leaf of the plant um, with that potassium and that phosphorus as well. And we've got a little bit of nitrogen there, a little bit of iron to help push a little bit of colour. I've actually added some of my enhance as well just to put it, push a little bit of colour on the green with the liquid iron in there because I do just love a nice dark green lawn. It just looks great. Um, but the, the lawn tips mix is the main thing we're getting out and that's going to be putting out over the next couple of months, probably every two weeks. Um, just to really help this thing resist the frost, all the cool weather, and just keep pushing those roots and strengthening up the plant itself. Because this is such a young green as well, we've got to make sure we're on top of that. 
for disease resistance on as well, not just to actually strengthen the plant up. And also, even if we had any damage with grubs or anything, not that we're gonna get anything this time of year here really, but if you're in a climate that does seem to see a little bit of armyworm activity this time of year, it's gonna be a lot more resilient to that damage and come back a lot quicker as, quicker as well. Let's put it out. Like we're finally heading into winter now like it's starting to cool off we're getting a few frosts it's getting cold um, so I just want to quickly talk about fertilizer over the winter period so personally I don't put I did my last granular application about a week week and a half ago so I won't be doing any more granular apps on this area at all apart from the green only because we're trying to get some nutrients into that sand so we've got more more products with a bit of calcium in there um, and a couple of different things here and there, but the ryegrass is just going to get liquids from here on in. So I put out my um, proliferate on the surrounds, which is a really good autumn fert or great for seeding, um, really great for this time of year, or you can be used as an all round winter fertilizer, I mean all year round fertilizer. But yeah, if you're thinking about getting some granular fert out, get it out now and then hold off on putting in a fertilizer out until springtime, just because with the cooler temps, granular fertilizer isn't going to break down as well and as quickly. And if you get a big heavy storm or anything like that, or just, you know, a lot of intense weather with rain constantly, you're gonna find that those granules won't be taken up by the plant and they'll just leach through the soil, wash down past the root system. So that's the main reason why I don't put granular out during the winter time and why we convert to liquids, which are taken up by the foliage of the plant and the leaf, so you're not gonna lose any product because they'll be taken up the leaf within about four hours. So that's why I'm sticking to my Lawn Tips winter mix now um, and sticking with liquids as well on this whole area. Definitely the best I've seen this ryegrass though, that proliferate has really kicked in and is making this spot look just so pure. So much more even with its color as well and its growth. Really, really good to see. Well, thanks guys so much for watching. Appreciate us and I'll see you guys in the next video.